Hi everyone, LulaRoe, Erica Grandi here for day number three in the life of a LulaRoe consultant. Um, I am here on day three and actually it is day four. I figured this was going to happen, didn't expect it right away, but um, it was just such a crazy night last night. Um, I I just had to wait <laughs> to post, kind of get my brain in working order. Um, so I am here today to tell you yesterday was rough, really rough. Um, I use, I may or may not have said, I think I have, but I use Shop the Row and I've never had any major issues outside of sometimes when I ask him to post it at like 5.55 for a six o'clock party. Some comes at like 6.20. It's trying to find that balance because if you do it at 5.40, it might post at 5.42. It's it's a little bit of a headache. Um, I actually know for a fact now, my biggest takeaway from yesterday is I need to still be on Facebook that first hour of the party posting. Um, I was not. I um, What happened was I had a party booked at a really big group. I was so excited about it. Um, she generally does really well with her sales, and I was just really, really, really excited. Um, I took two hours away from the daytime um, where I was going to spend time with my family to get prepared. I'm really excited. All right, so my husband had to work last night, which I knew about, of course. Um, so I went ahead and went and posted, um, pre-planned the posting process, which you can do with Shop the Row. So if uh, the party was going to post at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, um, and I'm posting at, say, noon Pacific Standard Time, I can just delay it and have everything upload at the 3 o'clock time. All right, and I don't do that that often, um, but when I do... I'm normally on there and everything looks good. Well, because my kids, uh, I was going to be watching all three kids on my own and I wanted to meet with a friend to go to Chick-fil-A, I knew that I wasn't going to be around in the beginning of the party. So I get to Chick-fil-A. I had already pre-planned, posted, got everything ready. Uh, the party was going to start in about 20 minutes. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll probably be here for an hour and then I'll come back. And I was deciding, do I bring my phone or do I not? Always the decision always the decision. One thing that was brought up during convention was to be present. So because I wanted to be present in the moment with my kids and not look rude in front of my friend to check on Facebook and da -da 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 on my phone, uh, I put my phone in, left my phone in the car and decided I'm going to wait until I get back. Well, the day ended up taking, or the time I was there took longer than expected. I actually ended up being in uh, Chick-fil-A for almost two hours. Uh, got back in the car. First thing that happens is my kids are acting super crazy and I drop a kid's cup of tea on my seat. I don't want to get tea all over my little row. So I had to like pat it down and try to find a towel and oh, pain in the neck. So needless to say, I get in the car, not exactly in the happiest of moods, check my phone. I've been locked out of Facebook. I'm like, okay, what happened here? Still don't know for sure. I am assuming, and we all know that assuming makes an ASS -S out of you and me. So I could be wrong here, but I do assume that it had something to do with Shop the Row, only because I couldn't figure out anything else. So yeah, I looked at, I went, once I finally got back into Facebook, um, which took about another hour or so, or 40 minutes or something like that, um, I had already been, the party had been going on for an hour and a half. Okay, so it was like 7.30 my time. I'm on Eastern Standard Time. She's Pacific, but party had been going on for an hour and a half. Apparently, only had about maybe a quarter of my albums posted, and then it just stopped. And so she was trying to contact me. And of course, because I left my phone in the vehicle and was not around, I was unavailable. So by the time I got back on Facebook, I was locked out of her group. So I got back in and was asking her what's going on and told her kind of the situation, looked through the, um, the feed, the discussion feed, and I realized very quickly again that not all my albums posted. She was trying to get in touch with me. So about 15 minutes before I got on Facebook, she decided to cancel the party and, you know, locked me out. Um, I did talk to her and you know, we got things smoothed over, smoothed over. She understands. Unfortunately, her awesome, fantastic group is not booking until October. October. Ah, curses. Uh, so I'm like, oh man. Um, and I'm not like this. Like, that's the thing that makes me so sad about the situation. I am 
generally very interactive with my parties. Um, I like to, you know, do all kinds of, I don't know. I just, I, it was not my normal situation, but again, trying to <laughs> balance is always my struggle. So needless to say, party's canceled and I'm over here almost in tears because I have been trying to reach these goals, as I mentioned, and I really, you know, I have not prepared quite yet for my open house and to start the whole in-home parties. So I'm really relying on these online parties. Um, and honestly, I've been doing a party <coughs> every day uh, because it's not that hard. Once your inventory is posted in the beginning, if you haven't gotten it yet, it is a pain. 300, 400 pieces of clothes, photographing it, uploading it. It takes a lot of time. Um, and to upload pictures into Facebook without doing something like Shop the Row or an external kind of group link thing, um, it takes an hour and a half. It takes time. So with Shop the Row or something like that, it only takes 20 minutes. It's almost silly not to post, not to have your inventory out there pretty much every night, in my opinion. We'll see about that. Uh, if I'm going to start doing more at home ones, I'm going to cut it back a little bit online. But needless to say, I was like, I was a little heartbroken. And again, it was a big group. It wasn't like a small group. It was a really interactive group. I'm like, knife to the heart. So I go out there and, you know, I, I kind of fix things out. I threw on that electronic babysitter for my kids, took a few minutes in the room real quick and, and got things nailed, uh, smoothed over, came out. I had been visibly upset, you know, I mean, I tried to keep it in, but my kids knew. And let me tell you something. My babies are crazy. My babies are loud. They're like me. They've got a lot of energy. Uh, they always want to be doing things, which is awesome. They're fun kids. Um, <laughs> so, you know, they, they're kind of rough. They're jumping on me and, and rough on me physically. Like I'm always getting a little bruises and boo boos from them. So I wasn't expecting much, but when I walked out there, all three of them kind of like looked at each other and we're talking a four-year-old and twin girls who are two, right? Four and two. They all three look at each other. And as soon as I sit down on the sofa, they jump on me and I'm just ready for it. I'm ready for being banged in the head, bit here, all these things. They all gave me like multiple kisses on my face. And it's like, I love you, mommy. And just being so sweet. And, you know, I mean, those are those moments where I'm like, you know what? Um, the why that we talked about on the first day, it has a big it's a big part of it is my kids because they are so amazing. They're fantastic. They deserve more mommy time. See, I'm probably tearing up. Okay. <laughs> um, and they just, that just meant the world to me, you know, um, just like a month into LuLaRoe, I had a little issue with another consultant. We were supposed to meet up and um, I was buying some leggings off her. This is when there were no leggings, not naming names, obviously. Um, however, uh, she gave me five minute notice of basically telling me she couldn't meet for an hour. I live an hour away and I have little kids and I was working. So this was not a convenient situation. I break down in tears. I call my nanny. In the beginning, I really kind of just wanted her to say, oh, just hang in there. It's okay. I've got the kids. Wait, you know, go ahead and wait. But she could tell my nanny is fabulous. And she just knew what I really needed. And she said, you know what, Erica, come home, give your baby some hugs and kisses and it'll be okay. She was right. Um, there's nothing like family. <clears throat> Nothing like hugs and kisses from those kids to make those rough moments in, in a business or just life in general. It just smooths things over. It really does. Oh, so my takeaway from yesterday was, um, you know, number one, I need to be there on my parties. If I'm going to commit to a time, I have to, you know, that's the thing I'm going to recommend to you. If you have a party, you don't have to be there 24 seven. If it's a 24 hour party, obviously you got to sleep, you got to eat, you, gotta, you know, but that first hour be there because they are going to ask questions. If something goes wrong, you need to be there. Uh, that's number one. And number two, um, <laughs> my kids are everything to me. Um, and I love them to death. And I'm so grateful that they are compassionate and understanding when mommy needs some moments because this business is emotional. You get attached, you know, to the pieces of clothing, to your customers, to wanting to make it something amazing. And so, you, you know, <laughs> for this to just be a business, it's not that there is a personal connection to it. So you're going to have moments. And, um, I'm just grateful that I have that support in, um, the smallest of places. So, <laughs> um, all right. So I am a little late, so I'm going to actually post my fourth day, uh, a little later on tonight. Right now it is one thirty my time. So I'm going to be posting it this evening. Um, have a couple parties coming up, so I will definitely let you guys know how it goes. And, uh, I am going to be going to spend some time with my, my mother and uh, stepfather. We're going to go hang out at Nana's house. And my kids are very excited about that to go swimming, but, um, but I will be back and let you know how day four goes.
All right. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye.